Welcome back to the Sports Report on WTLW. And joining me tonight is the new head coach of the Crestview football team, James Lotzenheiser. I was going to say, first of all, coach, congratulations on the job. I was going to say it's kind of like coming home, but it's it's really not because you were an assistant coach for, for 10 years before that. You're a graduate of Crestview. Um, how does it feel now to be in the head a spot for the football team now? It's exciting. Uh, it, it's a, a tremendous opportunity. Um, you know, it's been amazing to be a part of uh, the past 10 plus years uh, working with uh, Coach Owens underneath his staff and his program. Um, obviously, I love this community. I get to work here uh, and, and live here on a daily basis with my family. So an opportunity to continue to lead our student athletes is uh, a great uh, challenge for me and our staff. But it's a great opportunity to continue the culture of our program going forward. You've been able to have input, as you said, into the culture, and you've been able to do a lot of those things that you mentioned, uh, even as an assistant coach. What uh, what persuaded you, what motivated you to want to step into the spot of, of head coach with all of the additional responsibility and challenges that that carries? Right. I, and I think that you, you get the nail on the head. There are additional, way more additional uh, responsibilities, um, mostly related to organization, but also uh, the daily vision and the responsibility to make sure that you can go from a vision and a set of goals to an actual an actual plan that gets you close to or at the results you want. Um, I had an opportunity to be a head coach uh, here at Crestview for almost a decade with track and field. Completely different animal, um, but you do get comfortable sometimes with being an assistant and knowing that there's some things that the head coach is going to take care of. You kind of feel liberated. Uh, that liberating feeling changes uh, immediately, I can tell you. Uh, a week into this new gig, there's a, a lot uh, more stuff on the plate, but it's been exciting. It's also uh, very nice. It's very comforting to know that when I need to talk to the old ball coach, Jared Owens, he's literally right down the hallway and you can go in and ask him a question about, hey, how did this work last time when we, you did purchase recs or budgets? Or what do you think about this going forward? And that's nice um, knowing that this is my program to lead and to direct, but also to be able to use a good friend, uh, my former head ball coach and a former teammate of mine to kind of use as a, as a, you know, an advisory sounding board. What advice did, did Jared give you when switching over jobs? Like, has he given any kind of nuggets of wisdom of you've, as you've officially taken over as head coach? Yeah. And, and, you know, there's not, when you deal with, with uh, Jared Owens, it's not like uh, you sit down and you get the advice at one time, you know, working with him over the past 10 years, you kind of learn and you work to build the culture together. And one thing that he had really ingrained upon us is that um, it's easy to throw around the word family uh, on a daily basis. Our kids need to see and feel us caring about them and, and caring for them, working with them to make sure that this is a lot larger than just a game of football. Um, we're working on helping these student athletes become future leaders for our local and greater communities. Um, we need to be cognizant of the fact that they are getting pushed and pulled in a variety of different directions right now. And for us as adults, the COVID pandemic is pretty significant for teenagers growing up in this environment, the emotional drain, all those additional things that they have to worry about. Um, I mean, let's be honest, high school is tough enough for teenagers. Um, they've got a lot going on right now. We need to make sure that we are not adding too much to their plate, but we need to get them prepared mentally. We need to get them prepared emotionally and physically um, for the football season. Have you had a chance to meet with your uh, players yet? And if you have, what what have you guys talked about? I know the season's a few months off, but have you had a chance to to connect? And, and what's your next steps? Uh, you know, our players were extremely patient and extremely excited and interested on who the next head coach was going to be. Um, we had a, a variety of candidates um, um, from internal staff, so they knew it was going to be someone probably that they already knew, and they were excited about who was it going to be. And um, the good news is, is that our staff um, that worked for Coach Owens last year, um, even before the interview process even worked out or began, uh, we had all of our shovels in the dirt helping out with strength and conditioning for off-season workouts, uh, really trying to work together and collaborate. There wasn't any, like, uh, 
power play or, or jockeying, things like that. So I think that that shows that the culture we have here is invested in our student athletes. Um, we're going to meet with the team in person next week for the most part. I've been able to communicate with them digitally because that's what we do right now or a few at a time when you run across them or when we're working out in uh, select smaller number of groups in the weight room. But we're going to have that first big moment next week when we're all back um, from hybrid learning. We're really excited about that. James Lotzenheiser, the new head coach of Crestview Football. And coach, I want to ask you one final question so you'll get back into your schedule uh, next season. There's going to be some changes. Lipsick comes to uh, the Northwest Conference, so there'll be a new team for you to, to game plan. Um, I, I know you don't focus on just one new team that comes into the conference because there's obviously all the other teams that are still playing in WC that are right. that are plenty of challenges. But what um, what does it do to maybe you as a team? Uh, have you spoken to other members of the conference? What does it do that there is a new team that is in the Northwest Conference? That's not someone that you traditionally have to game plan for, and now that's a new opponent that's going to be worked into the mix over the coming years. Right. That's a good question. Um, you know, if you ask the other head coaches in the NWC, I'm sure that they would tell you that you, there is a level of comfort when you're game planning and you know that the, the team that you're going up against maybe has had a, a pretty consistent coaching staff or they have had a per, pretty consistent style of play on offense or defense and special teams. So there is a little bit of uncertainty in the unknown. We know a lot about Lipsick and the fact that they were a great um, team to a great school and a great team to bring into our conference because they want to play uh, tough physical football. We believe that that's what NWC football is. I think the other coaches would tell you that. And we also want teams that want to uh, to compete for an NWC crown because not only is that great prideful hardware uh, for your kids and, and they make excellent t-shirts, those championship t-shirts, but we know that if you're in a position to compete to win the NWC you're going to be in an opportunity most likely to get a chance to uh, compete in the OHSA playoffs. And that is one of our goals. It's not the first of our goals. You know, I'll be honest with you right now. Um, the last time we played our week one opponent uh, Parkway, uh, they got our number. Uh, we did not get a chance to, uh, to play them again, uh, play them last season because of just playing an NWC regular season schedule. Uh, I know that a lot of our players are really excited about that matchup because that traveling week one rivalry tr trophy has been in Rockford, Ohio for way too long. And we're excited about getting it back. And uh, we are one day closer to that Parkway game uh, every day. And that's what we're going to be working for uh, before we even get to league play. Well, coach, I wish you the uh, best of luck on getting that trophy back from, from Rockford. Of course, if I uh, talk to Parkway's head coach, my story would be a little different, but I'm going to wish you the best. The best that's, of that's the way we want it. It wouldn't be worth it any, any other way. Excellent. Well, James Lodzenheiser, head coach, new head coach of the Crestview Knights. Coach, uh, best of luck to you moving forward into the 2021 football season here a few months from now. Thank you, Patrick.